Uh, we can do it on the way. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, well, uh, let's see. What's the uh, mathematical significance of these? Well, um, that, that's that's a that's a tough one. Face. They're not going to ask that one. Go, go on. Go on to the next one. Just answer the question. No. Um, none of them. None no. of them do. All of them. They're parallel and perpendicular. See? Right. Face. I would have got it. I just have a lot on my mind. Come on, guys. We don't want to be late for Bobby's dad's memorial service. Captain William F. Sherman was a man who stood up for what he believed in, despite intolerable odds. His land, his country, being both father and mother and friend. Bill Sherman died a hero's death. He gave his life for freedom, and for his son, that was his father's greatest gift. Real sorry, son. About what? Did you didn't know three days earlier he was dead? Your daddy should have taught you better manners. My daddy taught me fine. I'm glad you came, Julie. I wanted to come alone, Bobby. I wanted to be with you. But he wouldn't let me. I believe you have something that belongs to me. Depends on what you're looking for. My hundred thousand dollars that you stole. Why don't you tell the sheriff? Then we can all go over and have a good laugh on the circumstances involved. Look, let's get right to the guts of this matter. By all means. I want that land. I'm willing to pay. I'm ready to make a deal. What's that, $50,000 to whoever can run Bobby Sherman and us off? I've got a deal of considerable standing to make to the boy. He's young, got his whole life ahead of him, probably got future plans. I think he should have a chance. Change of heart. I think Bobby should at least have a chance to hear me out. So do I. How about you and the boy coming for dinner tonight? How about we don't? All right. I'm meeting a neutral place, um, Red Rock Canyon. It's about four miles north of here. It's open, nice little clearing, flat. Everybody in plain sight. No weapons. Somehow I feel that only applies to us. <laughs> my men will be all out in the open. No monkey business. You have my word on it. Well, my word's as good as yours. Cross him, that's what makes it fair. into my office. $100,000. That's my office. I don't understand. What are you trying to pull? I'm just trying to close a business deal. I'm trying to negotiate business. That's what adults do when they want something. I give you $100,000, you sign the property over to me, and then you take off. You killed my dad. Son, what happened to your dad was due as much as anything else to his stubbornness. Now, I suggest you take that money and get out of town. This one's a little shy. Well, it's a uh, hundred thousand or so. You forgot to mention the or so. Whatever it is, it's enough for this kid to live real healthy on for a long time. It's up to you, Bob. It's your decision. 
Stuff your money, Kincaid. I'm keeping my dad's land, and I'm working my dad's well. He died trying to protect it. If you come around us again, you're gonna die trying to take it. Well, I guess that's the end of the friendly part of these negotiations. I can't believe y'all are so dumb. Yeah, dumb as a bag of rocks. But smart enough to figure you might put a sniper in that stand of trees over there. And maybe another one in that stand of trees over there. And so we mine those potential ambush sites. I don't believe you. Never bet into aces, pal. VA, cut some lumber. Yeah. 